in a replicate job if both replica mapping and replica seeding are chosen, which takes precedence. Ooh. Let's see here. Whichever method has the fewest network hops to the replica if they have ELO. Uh, I don't know. This 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 doesn't really I notice it's the longest one, so that, that makes it tempting, but um I wouldn't recommend just picking answers based on whatever is, is the longest one. I don't, I don't think it's a it's a viable tactic here for selecting answers. Plus, it seems a lot of people that are writing questions now are aware, seems aware of this that they might even purposely make the wrong answers the longest ones just to try and trick you up. So, uh, I wouldn't use that tactic. Let, let's let's take a look at the options here. You cannot select both seeding and mapping. Very confident that it is in fact possible to select both. Replica mapping if a restore VM or replica is available. Replica seeding if the seed is available. Hmm. So let's let's maybe go and take a look here. Meme user guide replica seeding. Seeding and mapping. Okay. Let's see if we have um, UI maybe, let's see, a create replication job, wizard, name description. Okay, so here we can see a window where clearly replica seeding has been selected and and with mapping has been selected and replica VIP. Okay, data source. Yep, yep. So I would say uh, this is not the right window, by the way. Let's see here, replicate destination. <laughs> Where do we have it? No, no. Here, seeding and mapping. Okay, so here we can see we have seeding at the step and replica mapping here. So. It, it is possible definitely to select both of these two. And the question then is, what, what is it gonna do? Uh, let's see here, note, if a VM has a seed and is mapped to an existing replica, replication will be performed using replica mapping because mapping has a higher priority. Well, let's think about this from a logical perspective, right? So, so what we saw is this is the correct answer, but why? why? Why would that be a sensible thing? Because if we are saying we're replicating from one side to a different side, which is not always, but typically what people want to do, then I have to transfer all of the data across. All, let's say we're doing it from, from seeding, well, then that would mean I have to read. Seeding could be on the, the DR side, makes sense. So we're avoiding to copy all of the data. So here I have two options. One, where there is a replica already in place that just needs any changed data to be copied, which could be just a few kilobytes. Or you could do from the C, which means you would have to read everything and write it again. It's difficult to say with certainty which one is always going to be the fastest, but it doesn't really matter because if you pick both of them, we can see from this text here that then it will be using mapping, right? So in that case, this is the one to use. If you don't want to do that, but you want to use seeding, well then just don't put the checkbox. As you can see here, just don't don't add that particular VM to the list of mappings, right? Like this SIV01, there's no mapping. That's fine, then we'll have to use seeding instead. But you would need this checkbox up here. And you would need to tell us where we are getting that seed from. 